Welcome back to our ticket broker system. We are currently building the different cases uh, for the different types of tickets that somebody might purchase. We have already built one for walk-up and one for advanced and now we need to make one for our student and one for our volunteer. You could also have other tickets um, like staff or alumni depending on um, what positions or who might be buying the tickets. Um, don't forget that you'll need to instantiate an instance of each of the types of tickets that you create. So I'm just going to make this one STUD. Okay, and then let's go down and make case three. It's all in comment case three. All right, so in case three then, we're going to system dot out print ln what row would you like to sit in and int row is equal to reader dot next int and system dot out dot print ln what column you like to sit in and int column is equal to reader dot next int if our auditorium aud dot get seat row minus one column minus one get reserved system dot out dot print ln that seat is already reserved choose another seat else AUD dot get seat row minus one column minus one seat reserved purchase is equal to true And then we need to say um, system dot out dot print ln that will be dollar sign. Plus quantity times stut dot get price and then system dot out dot print ln would you like to purchase any more tickets and then end is equal to reader dot next and break. So we just need to make sure that this is what we called our student ticket. If we go up to the top, we in, did instantiate student as STUD. 
so we're good there. All right, let's go ahead and compile that before we go on to the next case. And mm, spelled correctly. So it says cannot find variable purchased. Boolean purchased is equal to false. So it looks like I need to add that line to each case. Yeah, it looks like I have a few lines here I need to add. Um, I need to add these two, these three lines, these four lines. And then I'm going to need to add two more curly braces here to finish out the for loop. And then I can have these three lines. And it doesn't like quantity. Let's see. There's quantity. Ah. Hmm. And then our last case will be for our volunteer or staff, depending on which kind of um, venue you have. So we'll do a case four, colon, and we can just go ahead and copy all of this and change it as needed. So this is case four. And then all of this is fine. In case four is for volunteer. Or staff. And then we're still asking what column and what row they need to sit in and it's already reserved and then all we need to do is um, change here where we're, we're getting the price for that particular person so in this case we initiated a um, I'm going to do a volunteer Or I can do a staff. So staff S E A F F is equal to new staff. And um, you would have to go and um, we'll have to go up and set up a new staff ticket. So um, just like a volunteer might be free, let's just go ahead and make the event free for the staff also. So staff extends advanced and 
we'll put in the days before, but we're not going to charge them for being part of the staff. So let's save this. Now we can go back to our runner. And we instantiate an instant staff, but we're going to have to pass in days before. So we can put in maybe 12. Let's put him up here with our rest of our tickets for the auditorium. And then down here we can say staff get price. Okay, and we don't seem to have any other typos. And then with um, switch statements, we tend to have a default case. So we can say default system.out.print ln invalid selection. Please try again. This is in case they put in a number that's not called for. And then we end the switch. And then after the while loop, um, and we've had all those cases, then we can press system.out.print ln. Thank you. Enjoy the show. And that's it. So let's compile, make sure we don't have any errors. Got a spelling mistake in our print statement. All right, and we can go ahead and run it and test it. So you can see here that we want to buy a walk up. And how many would you like? I'd like two. And then what row would you like to sit in? So I've got this um, grid of 15 circles by 15. And it's a little um, big for this um, size that I have my. So let's make it smaller. We'll go up to auditorium. And let's instantiate auditorium by 5x5 five by five and recompile. And now we'll run it. So I want to do walk up tickets. I'm going to get three of them. And you can see now my grid is 5x5. Five five. And I want to sit in row 2 and row 1. And I can reserve the ticket. And then I might want to sit in, still in row 2, but now this time I want to sit in row 2, and then I'd still like to be in 2, and I want seat 3, and then I'm going to say no. And now there I've bought my tickets, and they're reserved in a row. And um, that's it. So. See you in, during the next project.